Hello, good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Harrison. Can you hear me, Mr. Cardona? Good evening, teacher. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you, teacher? I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, teacher. Adjust the volume, please. Maybe my computer, I'm not really sure, but I need to be sure that everything works in the right way. For that reason, I need to just let me know if you can hear me. Norma Carolina is driving. Be careful, Norma, be careful. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Be careful, be careful. Drive safely. Welcome, Karina. Hello, teacher. I hope that you feel well today. I don't see your mama. Hello, Harrison. Hi, teacher. Okay, I hope that all of you feel really well today. We are ready to start. We just uh, wait a little bit more.
Okay, welcome Rafael, Herson, Fadima, Cristina, Stephanie, Angel, Narciso, Norma, Carolina. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. Remember, this is the last week that we are going to be here. For the reason I invite you to participate in this uh, last five days. After Friday, you are going to have a vacation. No olviden hacer todas las tareas pertinentes de la plataforma para que eh, ya el día viernes solo les haga falta eh, la de esa clase. Porque se nos ha pedido que debemos de cuadrar el día sábado a más tardar a las 8 de la mañana. Entonces, sé que todos van muy bien. And uh, I hope that all of you had the, the opportunity to, to solve all the exercises in the platform. Goodness. Ana Cristina? Hello, Ana Cristina. Ana del Carmen? Present, teacher. It is present, okay. Narcy Angel? Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Cristina Stephanie? Present, teacher. Welcome. Fatima del Carmen. It's not here. Fatima. Giovanni Alexander. Present. Present. Giovanni Alexander. It's not here. Uh, Harrison. Present. Welcome, sir. Juan Carlos Palacios. No yet, okay. Karen Yesenia Castillo. No here. Eh, Karina Noemi. Present. There. Linda Ivet. It's not here. Maria Julia. Present. Marlene Nicole. Now here. Nancy. Nancy. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, Rafael. Present teacher. 
Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. Suleima Veronica. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Because of the traffic, they are going to join with us later. Okay. I understand. This man is really, really difficult. Okie dokie. Let us start now with a new topic for today. As I told you at the beginning, we have only had five days in order to practice. So please, this is the last week. Try to do your best and try to participate in order that you can use your language. Let me see first. Okay, Fatima va en camino, pero estará conectado. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let me check up here. Fatima, por eso es que no me respondía. Ahí está, sí me respondió. Perfecto. Eh, Fatima ya dijo presente. Excelente. Okay. Let me see. Not this one. Here we go. Okay, this is the video conference number 16. Today we are going to talk about how to use yes no questions. Okay, hold on, hold on a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, let us turn now. We have uh, two questions. How often do you attend training? And the second said, what other events, events uh, do take place at your workplace? What can you tell me about it? This question is similar. It's going to be similar for the next day. But we need to talk about. OK, what can you tell me about? How often do you attend trainings? And what other events do take place at your workplace? What can you tell me about it? 
who wants to participate? Hello. Hello. Are you there? Yes. Why don't you tell me about the question? Hello. Are you there? Yes. Okay. In the question number one, in my case, twice every six months every six months yeah okay and what about the second question uh what other events do take place at your workplace what can you tell us about the second question or somebody else Ana Cristina, tell me. This year, I have participated in four. Okay. What else? What else can you tell me? Uh, I'm going to show you again the question because I need mean, uh, you give me an answer about how often do you attend trainings and what other events do take place at your workplace? Maybe some celebration at the end of the year. I don't know. You can tell me. Teacher, uh, for example, thanks, teacher. Uh, for example, in in my previous job, I as assisted or oh yeah, attended a lot of trainings, but every time that uh, a new product entered, or no sé cómo se dice, ingresaba, entraba. Okay, all right. All right. We have a training. You have a training, right? Yes. Okay. Excellent. In order to be prepared and show to the clients. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Hello. Hello. 
Maria me, teacher. Okay, tell me. Um, taking working is always be ready to earnings. Example, um, language, English. Ah, okay. Y, um, uh, events, uh, um, Team Griffey, um, una vez al mes tenemos esa reunión. Once a month. Once a month. Okay. Do you know how to write it? ¿Sabe cómo se escribe? No, teacher. <laughs> o ah, sea, okay. Ting, Ting Griffey. O sea, sí. No, no, no. De, de una vez al mes. Ah, cómo no. Pero no, no, no lo pude coordinar en cómo decírselo. Ah, ok. Sí, se escribe once. <laughs> once. It's okay. like, like, yeah, it is something like that. You know, once, some months. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. It is look. It look like once, but it's not exactly once. It's just once, once. Okay, thank you. Let us continue uh, talking about this. We are going to have this conversation between Lana and Lerna. The name are uh, lookalike, you know. Okay, uh, listen carefully, please. Hey, Lerna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Uh, let's see Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Tanini from Brazil. I love Mrs. Tanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You're right. Okay, I'm going to read again. Please pay attention. Hey, Lerna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Uh, let's see, Andrew Johnson from England and Megale Zanini from Brazil. I love Mrs. Zanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay. Question. Or everything is clear. Just let me know. Because after that, you need to practice. Hello. Hello. No question? No question, teacher. Okay. Who, who wants to do, who wants to read it? I mean, a pair of a student. A pair of a student, please. Volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, Rafael, you need somebody else that to help you. Quien se atreve? Norma. Me teacher. Okay. Hey, Lorna, how are you? 
did you attend the trading last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was at Aswan. It was at the new hotel. So great. Tell me everything about it was in the difficult. Well, I wasn't that difficult, but it was very changing. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Mm, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England. And Magali Sinini from Brazil. I love Miss Miss Sanini Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company to JRSA. You are right. Okay, thank you. In the last two years ago, two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Okay, thank you. And let me see another word I'm looking for. Ozone. Ozone. Ozon. Ozon. Oh, wait. Somebody else wants to read? Me, teacher. Uh, I, I consider that all of you got the material, right? Do you mind if I stop sharing it? No? Yeah, okay, because uh, I need to I need to see your faces. Okay, who wants to do it? Sure. Uh, Anna, okay, okay. Somebody else who wants to help her? Me, teacher. Linda, Yvette, yes. do it, please. Okay. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. Yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was on the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it was that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many interna international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read it again. So please, I need that you pay attention. Hey, Lerna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at a new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. I need to emphasize this, wasn't, was. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Um, oh, Lexi here. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Lexi. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Zanini from Brazil. I love Mrs. Zanini. She was the first international 
CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Teacher, uh, the pronunciation is international. 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 Okay, thank you. Solo la T es la que va a ser R. Ah, okay. International. Okay. Pero si, si usted quiere decir international, it's acceptable too. Ah, ok, es que yo así decía international. Sí. Pero algunas palabras, si ustedes han eh, ido notándose, las voy ya como modificando para que ya en el siguiente nivel ya tengan un poco más de fluidez y rapidez. In my case, I, I, I use international instead of international. I met an international speaker came back. Okay, another word that you consider that you have problem, just tell me. And uh, if you have in this case, for example, you need to be careful when you are using wasn't and was because it's not the same. It wasn't, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging, challenging. Okay. Somebody else want to do it before the, we go to the breakout room? Teacher, la palabra, eh, no kidding, así se dice. Kidding. Not, not kidding. No kidding. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Thank no you. kidding. No kidding. No kidding. Okay, another word. Just ask me. Antes de que vayamos al breakout room, necesito que todos estén seguros de lo que vamos a hacer. Por eso les pregunto muchas veces. Okay, the last uh, pair that read it and then we can go to the breakout room. La última pareja que desee leerlo y luego nos vamos al breakout. And sometimes we use uh, two of these. Uh, uh, let's see. They all depend on the situation that we are going to use. Uh, yeah, that is the sound. That means that you are trying to, to remember, you know. OK, somebody else wants to participate? No. Alguien más quiere leerlo? Me teacher. Okay. Somebody else who wants to help him? Me teacher. Okay. Hey Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yeah, I did. The training was out awesome. It was at the new hotel. So great. Tell me uh, everything about it. Was it diffi difficult? Well, I it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No, no kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Mrs. Sanini. She was the first inter in international CEO. 
to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay, thank you. Uh, you need to pay attention about this uh, sign. We have an exclamation sign here. You are right. Remember, uh, I've been telling you that every time that you are speaking, you, you need to try to do it naturally, you know? And you need to pay a special attention to all these uh, exclamation mark, question mark, periods, commas, and so on. And that way, uh, what you are reading is going to sound in a better way. Okay, I'm going to read it the last time, and then you are going to get together uh, in order to practice in a breakout room. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The trainer was awesome. It was at a new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was a very challenging. Many international speakers came. Not kidding. Who are the speakers? Uh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Megale Tanini from Brazil. Hello, Mrs. Anini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay, question? If you don't have a question, let us go to the breakout room. En español, alguna duda de alguna palabra? Yes, teacher, challenging is challenging or what? Come. Okay. Remember that we have uh, the agency here. Challenging, very challenging. We have agency at the end. <clears throat> Challenge is uh, infinite. Challenging is uh, progressive. Okay, another question. Hello. No question. No question, teacher. No teacher. Ah, okay. Excellent. Let me see. Okay, I got it. I got it here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to create. I'm going to give you three minutes in order that you can practice. I hope that you do your best, okay? Let us do it now. Here we go.
Nancy, what's up, Nancy? What happened, Nancy? Hello, teacher. Vengo llegando. Ah, ah okay. Well, that is the reason why Sorry. you are. Okay, no problem. Now, I, I was asking you this question because I thought, yo creí, pensé, que estaba con alguien así nadie que se había, se había desconectado. No, teacher. Vengo entrando. Ah, okay. Welcome. Vengo llegando. Thank you. Take a look at the, at the conversation that we are starting now. Ah, okay. Let me uh, see. Let me tell you the pace that we are. It is page? on 39 is the pace. 49, okay. 39, 39. 49. Okay. Okay, don't worry. Okay, who wants to participate? Volunteers, please. Hello. Mr. Cardona, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. Hey, me, hey Lorna. Mr. Mr. Okay, come on. Hey, Lorna. How are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at a new hotel. So great. Tell me everything about it. What is difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were these speakers? Mm, let's see, Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Mrs. Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay, Rafael, thank you. Likewise, Mr. Narciso. Okay, thank you to both of you. Next, please. Siguiente, por favor, no dejemos mucho espacio para que todos tengan la oportunidad de participar. Mi teacher en Ani. Ok, Raquel en Ani. Ok, moment, please. Comienza usted hoy. Ok, o yo. yo. Okay. Hey, Lorna. How are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, yes I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me, tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it was that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Uh, how were the speakers? Mm, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international. 
CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Max, please. Visited Cristina. Ana Cristina. With? Yo, Cristina Estefan. Ah, okay. Hey, Lorna. How are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes. I. The training was awesome. It was at the new hot. Some great tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't that, that, that difficult, but I was very shelling it. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I know Miss Sanini. She was the first interna international television world company two years ago. Ego. You are right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ten years ago, I remember that I was in another place. Listen how you are going to use this word. Five years ago, three years ago, one year ago, one week ago. And do you know what is the meaning of the word ago? ¿Saben el significado? Yes, yes, yes. What about the rest? ¿Y los demás? Yes. Yes. Okay. Next. Somebody else want to do it. Si ustedes depende. Everything depend on you. Mi teacher. Okay. Giovanni. Okay. Start me. Uh, hey Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. What is difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali C. Sinini from Brazil. I love Miss Sinini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Thank you, Annie. Thank you. Nice. Congratulations, Karen Yesenia. You did a great job. Thank you. Chef. And Juan Carlos, too. Okay, so Maria. ¿Alguien más quiere hacer la conversación? ¿No? Mi teacher con Linda. Ah, ok, Sulaima. Ok. okay. 
Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. So great. Tell me everything about it. What is difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were they speaking? Let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Mr. Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You're right. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Okay, thank you to both of you. Two years ago, two years ago. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, uh, in order to go to the next activity, I, I would like uh, you um, create a sentence, but you don't need to write down anything. But volunteer who wants to create a sentence using this word ago, talking about something that happened maybe two days ago, one week ago, just tell me. I want to be sure that all of you use it in the right way. One year ago, for this day, I was in the United States spending my vacation. That is my example. What about you? Give me a short example. Me. Linda? Me, teacher. Do it. Uh, five, five years ago, I saw David Bisbal in my work. Jesus. My goodness. Yes. <laughs> What's my, okay? Okay, somebody else? Para los que no me comprendieron, estoy pidiendo un ejemplo usando a go. Me teacher. Okay. I arrived to the company five years ago. Okay. Next. Uh, me teacher. Giovanni. Uh, I was born many years ago. Ah, many years ago. Okay. Next. In my company. Uh, Continue, Cristina. In my company, um, eh, I was um, in the party Christmas, uh, Sonora Nidamita, four years ago. Four years ago. The Sonora Dinamita was in the yeah. Christmas party in my yeah. workplace. Yeah. Okay. Next. But hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, please. Raise your hand if you want to say something. Raise your hand if you want to say something about it.
I was I was in a training two years ago at the Capital Hotel. Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Okay, two years ago. In this case, we, we have to make a, a, a link. Two years ago. Listen, two years ago. Years, because the word years and it is. Eh, termina en S. Es years una, ago. Yeah, years ago. Termina en una consonante y la que sigue es una vocal, una consonante fuerte y una vocal suave. Entonces, hacemos el, el, eh, el, el, la unión, que en francés se llama el lío. Ok, continue, please, somebody else. Okay, okay. Let us continue with the next activity. Next activity. If you don't want to speak, well. It's really, really important that you know how to use the word ago. Si alguien tiene dudas de cómo usar esa palabra, ahorita es cuando puede preguntar. Me enfoqué en ella porque eh, a veces puede ser una palabra tan sencilla y simple, pero a veces no se comprende el uso. Ana Cristina, dígame. Yo no, no entendí cómo, en qué momento utilizar esa palabra. Ah, ok. Yo Perfecto. también, dicho. Vale, me gusta y por eso me, me enfaticé en esa palabra, porque eh, siempre eh, a veces hay dudas. Esa palabra en español ven, viene a ser como quien dice hace, pero no del verbo hacer, sino hace cinco años, hace treinta años, pero siempre va al final, los años las semanas, los meses, siempre van a ir antes de la palabra. Si usted, por ejemplo, dice, hace tres días, three days ago, I went to visit the, the hospital. Hace tres días yo fui a visitar el hospital. Not even the hospital, maybe the doctor. I went to see, yeah. Ahora sí. Yes, teacher, thank you. Ok, ahora háganme un ejemplo para estar seguro de que sí la van a saber usar. I born a BLP in two years old. Years, years ago. Years ago. Years ago. Years ago. Years ago. <laughs> okay, somebody else wants to give me an example. Teacher, una, eh, ¿se puede al inicio o es al final de lo que yo quiero decir? Por ejemplo, eh, three years ago, I to travel to traveling in New York. Mm, I, I, I got your, your, your question. It's going to be better if you say, I traveled to New York six years ago. Okay. All, all, the the, all the Eso va a depender del nivel, incluso, porque en básico, incluso podría ser un tanto válido para comunicación. But suddenly, when you are going to the next level, you are going to know that the right way that you have to use it is going to be in that way. I went to New York three years ago. Or like you say, three years ago, I went to New York. Okay, 
Let me see the attendance now. Veamos la asistencia. Me quedaron pendientes algunos de darme ejemplos. Pero como esto es voluntario. Teacher, me. Ok. Before I check up the, the, the attendance. Antes okay. de que pase la lista. Dígame. For example, I called my mom 10 minutes ago. Ok. I called my mom 10 minutes ago. I called. Called. Yeah, you need to put the tip of your tongue in the upper tip. Necesita poner la punta de su lengua en los dientes superiores para hacer la diferencia entre el presente y el pasado. Called. Called. Yes. Called. Thank you. Ok, ahora sí vamos a revisar la asistencia. Let me see. Okay, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen. Present. Ángel. Present. Cristina Stephanie. Present teacher. Fátima. Fátima. Present. Ahí está Fátima. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Eh, Gerson Manuel. Present. Juan Carlos. Present. Eh, Karen Yesenia. Present. Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. María Julia. Present. Marlene. Marlene Nicole. No. Nancy. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. And Sulein. Present teacher. Ok, let us continue talking about the topic that we are starting today. Okay, we need to move forward. And this is a pair work. Discuss the following question about the conversation. How does learner describe the training? You need to give me an answer. The second one, when was the first time? Miss Anini came to the ladies' company. And the third one, where did the training take place? Okay, you are going to discuss with the person, with the same person you practice the conversation. Try to solve it, please. Here we go. I got a problem here because Nancy is not included, I guess. Let me see where you are. Oh, oh. I'm going to send this to run one. And Linda and Nancy, you need to work together too, but let me see.
My goodness, you can work. Uh, you could stop here if you want. Okay, who wants to answer the first question? Volunteer? Who wants to answer it? ¿Quién desea responder la pregunta? Uno. Hey, teacher. Giovanni Alexander. Okay. Tell us. Uh, read the question and give us the answer, okay. please. How does Lorna describe the training? The training was awesome and it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Okay, thank you. Second question, who wants to read it? Second question. When was the first time Miss Sanini came to, to this to Ladis company? Uh, she was the first international CEO to visit a uh, company two years, years ago. Okay. When was the first time Mrs. Zanini came to the latest company? And the last one, please. Who wants to read it? Quien desea leerlo? Where did the training take place? 
And the answer is? It was at the new hotel. It was in the new hotel, okay. New hotel. Okie dokie, thank you. Now we are going to talk about how to use the verb be in the past. I know that you have studied this topic, but we are going to remember. Somebody want to read the instruction that we have? How to use the verb be in the past. Use the past of be to talk about a situation in the past. And we have the, the pronoun I'm, he, she, it, that we have to use the verb to be in past was. And we have we, they, you, that has to be the verb uh, where. Okay, thank you. Remember that uh, was and where are be form. Recuerden que was y where son formas de el verbo be. And when we talk about singular, we are going to use was. And when we talk about plural, we are going to use where. We already know in this case that I, he, she, and it are singular, singular and we, they, and you are plural. And also we have affirmative statements and negative statements. For example, the training was very helpful, is affirmative. All the employees were happy to attend. And also we have negative statement. It was not or it wasn't difficult. We use this when we are speaking. In a written way, we can use was not. But at the moment that we are speaking, we say it wasn't, it wasn't difficult. We were not or we weren't unwilling to help. We weren't unwilling to help. I don't know if you have any question to this topic. No? I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá. Sometimes we get confused with the, with the verb be. Algunas veces uno se confunde con el verbo be. Si ese es su caso, es hoy. El, el día para poder evacuar esa duda que tenga. Just let me know. And I'm going to Teacher. give you a hand. Tell me. Te um, in Spanish. O sea, Solo, solo, solo para pasado se va a usar el was y el where. O sea, Ex, solo es. pasado. Solo pasado, cabal. Ok, thank you. Eso es así. Eso es lo que les digo, miren. Necesitan, you need to, necesitan tener como un poco más de confianza en, en, en hacer las preguntas, porque para eso estamos. El objetivo es que pasando ya a este nivel, ustedes ya tengan claro todos estos temas que vamos mirando. Entonces es, es así, eh, was y where lo vamos a usar solo en tiempos pasados. Que ya sabemos que son formas del verbo be que significa ser o estar. Y usted dice ella estaba, ella era. And that way you are going to use it. But uh, 
In order that you can understand better, I'm going to give you an extra explanation. Pero no sé si alguien más tenga otra consulta. Teacher. Ahí tengo una mano levantada, Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Yes, con la respuesta tengo la duda yo. Okay. Que siempre vamos a contestar como en pasado. Hay yes. cuáles. Yeah, yeah, all, all, all depend on the, the personal pronoun that you are using. Pero si la pregunta es así, of course that you are going to use uh, the simple pass. Claro que sí, va a usar siempre, si estamos usando en la pregunta was, en la respuesta, porque son yes, no question, uh, you are going to use the same. Or all depend because if we are using a positive or affirmative, vamos a, si es afirmativo, vamos a usar, por ejemplo, si es was, yes, I was. Si es negativa, no, I was. Okay. Pero let me show you something. Or, uh, bueno, antes de mostrarle eso, Karen Yesenia me está indicando algo. Teacher, cuando Dígame. es tercera persona, sería was. Sí. Así okay. es. Thank cuando you. cuando sean, ah, eso lo expliqué ya en inglés, pero se lo voy a mostrar otra vez. Y me gusta que me hagan esa pregunta. Porque de esa manera, acá. Acá los tenemos, vea. Todos estos son singulares. Aquí hay que tener eh, el cuidado que no solamente van a ir las terceras personas, sino también va el hay, que es singular. Vamos a usar I, he, she, and it con was. No solamente los tres que son a uh, terceras personas. Dígame, Karen. O sea que si digo my boss, my eh, sister, my brother, sería was. Mm, let, let, let me understand your question. O sea, si digo... Estoy hablando de la hermana de, o el hermano de. O sí, sea, pero, me prefiero eh, una tercera persona, sería el was. Sí, siempre, siempre que sea singular, va a usar was. Si es la hermana de, es, es ella. Ajá, ahí sería was. Sí. She okay. was at the party. Yes. Ok, thank you. Y luego son los únicos que vamos a usar con where, solo son we, they, and you. Ahora aquí, en vez de ella, podría ser María, was, ¿sí? Roberto, was, y así sucesivamente. Recuerden que los pronombres sirven para sustituir a los Teacher, no. oh. eh, esto que estamos viendo es la lección 15 de las tareas y yo estuve repasando y en la número 2 que dice Were you in school yesterday? Okay. Yesterday. Eh, siento lo que usted nos explica. Tendría que usar el we, yes, you para contestar esa pregunta. Mm, ojo, ojo, repítamelo por favor para que nos quede muy claro. Si la pregunta dice, were you at the school yesterday? Mm. La respuesta, ¿cuál va a ser? Mm, podría ser positiva o negativa, entonces podría decir... Eh, si fuese pues, positiva. Diría yo, yes, yes, you were. No, se va a referir porque dice... La pregunta le, le, que le está haciendo dice, where you, estuvo usted estuvo. en la escuela ayer. Entonces la respuesta va a ser, va a decir, yes, I was, o no, I wasn't. ¿Me, me comprende? Ok, sí. Ok, teacher. Ok, ok, ok. Thank you. Let me show you what I told you. 
Vamos, let, let, let me make a review. Vamos a hacer un repaso así como light para que les quede más claro porque esto es sumamente básico e importantísimo tenerlo claro. Porque son la lección 14 y 15. Sí. Pero fíjese que, bueno, eh, explicarles lo siguiente. Que en, el, en los lesson plan a mí me apareció en la 16. Y quizás en la, en, la, en la plataforma están en ese número. Pero si se han fijado, eh, yo he ido eh, respetando eh, el orden que llevamos en el libro. Así es, dicho. Gracias. Sí, pero bien, eh, estamos acá y, y espero que con esto que veamos les quede más claro. The past simple interrogative of to be. As in the present simple to make question using was or were, we only had to write was or were at the beginning of the sentence and then the subject. Example, were you at the school yesterday? Algo así es la pregunta que tienen en la plataforma, según lo que me dice, ¿cierto? Yes, teacher. And what is the answer for this question? Were you at the school yesterday? Yes, I was. Oh, yes, no. I was. Uh -huh. Ahí, ahí eh, podría funcionar así. No, mire. I was. Oh, yes, I were. No, no puede decir yes I were. No. Es que no, no lo pasa. Ahí que tenemos que tener cuidado, porque si la pregunta fuese a, a dos personas, I were. entonces ya, ya tendría que ser yes we, we were at the school. Sí, nosotros estuvimos en la escuela. Pero en this case, si la pregunta es directa a usted, entonces la respuesta tendría que ser, si es positiva, yes, I was, o no, I was. Mm -hmm. Ahí tenemos que tener mucho cuidado. Ok, the next example. Was he with, your, with you this morning? How is going to be the answer? Was he with you this morning? Yes, he was. Or? No, he wasn't. Okay, excellent. Okay. So, okay, let us see here. Interrogative. Was I? Were you? Was he? Was she? There is a mistake here because were we, were you, and were they? Not this one. Was they, no? Yeah, no, no, no. There is a mistake there. Okay, the past simple interrogative, to form the interrogative form in the past of regular and irregular verb, we need the auxiliary T, but this is another issue. Este es como la otra parte que nos aparece en la conversación. To form the, the interrogative form in the past of regular and irregular verb, we need the auxiliary T. We write it at the beginning of the sentence. Remember that. When we use the auxiliary did, the main verb in the sentence is stay in the infinitive form. Ojo con esto. Don't forget. Recuerda. Somebody wants to tell me in Spanish? Alguien que me diga en español lo que dice ahí para que los demás compañeros que tal vez tienen duda lo comprendan. Recuerda que cuando usamos el, la auxiliar did, el verbo principal en oraciones se mantiene en infinitiva forma, en la forma infinitiva. Ahí está. Es en this case, por ejemplo. Did he go to school yesterday? What happened here? We use did, this is the auxiliary, and this one has to stay in infinitive. Este lo vamos a escribir siempre en presente, a sabiendas de que did, por estar ahí, lo hace que signifique que la acción fue en pasado. ¿Se comprende esa parte? Sí, 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. ¿Alguien que tenga dudas? No. Teacher, o sea, que podemos usar, digamos, did he eat? Yes. Pizza yesterday. Did he eat pizza yesterday? In the answer? Yes, he did or no? Yes. He did. He didn't. He didn't, okay. Okay, let me erase this. Se dan cuenta que son cositas mínimas pero que es necesario tenerlas claras. I recommend you to write down all the explanations that you consider necessary to have it. Es necesario escribir algunas ideas. Teacher. Hola. Eh, fíjese de que en la tarea 13, en la segunda, en la tarea 13, eh, a mí no me sale bien y la he estado haciendo, haciendo, haciendo y no me sale bien. Porque la estructura es que se pone el sujeto, eh, luego se pone el verbo to be y luego el progresir y luego el complemento. Pero yo lo he hecho de varias formas y no, no, según la estructura no me sale. No working. En el, la eh, tarea 3. Ah, ok. I'm going to take a look of it. Word searching. Ok, ya lo, la, uh, ya lo vamos a revisar. When, when you ask question, did I run? Did you break? Did he stop? Did she buy? Did it drink? Did we watch? Did you study? Did they see? As you can see, the verb stay in infinitive. Si ustedes miran, el verbo está siempre en presente, en forma infinitiva, pero quien, la, quien lo hace que su significado sea en pasado es el be. Por eso está el allí siempre. And answer the following question we have. Where did they go? What is the answer? This is different because we are using a WH word. Aquí estamos ya usando preguntas de información. But let me see the time that I have. What is the answer? This is information question. Where did they go? ¿Cuál sería, cuál sería la respuesta aquí? They went in the supermarket. They went to shopping. Ah, they went to shopping. Ajá, ok. Ojo, aquí, como ya es pregunta de información, ya la respuesta ya no va a ser yes, I did or no, I didn't. ¿Por qué? Porque tengo una WH word. Y estas son preguntas de información. Por lo tanto, I need to give an extra information. Y cuando eso suceda, voy a usar el pasado de este verbo, que en este caso es when. And we are A, B, and C. They went shopping, they go shopping, they go shopping. Which one is the right one? I already told you. ¿Cuál es la correcta? A. It's letter A, okay. A. Great. What did he do? Give me an answer. He played soccer. A, B, or C? B. 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 Okay, he played football. Regular bear, okay. One more. What did what did she do? Which one is the right one? 
¿Cuál es la correcta? Tell me. She ride her bike. A. A, B, or C? B. B. Rode her bike. Yeah, the, this is a regular bear. You need to keep in mind. Okay. Okay, let me see what else do we have here in order to continue. Okay, let's go to activity number five. We need to hurry up because of the time. Hold on a little bit. Okay, here we go. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you are going to read the, the following paragraph and based on that you are going to answer this question. Okay, read it please. And as soon as you finish, you are going to answer all those questions.
Okay, I'm giving you time in order that you can answer all those questions. Everything is clear? Yes. Okay. As soon as you finish, just let me know, please. Okay, who wants to read it? A volunteer who wants to read it? Thank you, Chair. Giovanni? Uh, the question, man. The paragraph, please. Ah, uh, the paragraph. Yes. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mari went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equip equipment she uses, uses and how to prevent damage on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to present example during the speech. Okay, thank you, sir. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix, fix the equipment she used and how to prevent damage on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to present an example during his speech. Question number one. How was the training? If you want to answer, just write your hand and tell me. I don't see any hand up. No veo ni una mano arriba. Okay, Farima por ti. The training was interesting. The training was interesting. Okay. Thank interesting. Thank you. Second, when was the training? Let me see. I got two. Okay, let me see. Me bajo la mano. Okay, Giovanni, let, let me see. Harrison. No, I don't see. Leave, leave, leave the hand up. Dejen la mano arriba porque okay. de, repente, de repente veo las manos arriba y, y cuando ya veo ya no están, no se me mueven. <laughs> eh, the, the training was last Tuesday. Training was last Tuesday, okay. Next question. Do you like it? Ahora no hay ninguna mano arriba, mire. You need to raise your hand if you answer.
Okay, we are going to give you the opportunity to Karen. Karen, uh, you see, let, let me let me tell you this, Karen. Number three, did you like it? Yes, uh, because she learned how to fix the equipment. Okay, Karen, I need that you see your screen. Necesito que vea su pantalla y ahí hay una carita. Ya la encontró. No. En la parte de abajo. Hay una carita. Ya voy. ¿La vio? No. Donde, uh -huh. dice, donde dice reactions. I don't know if you can see it. No, teacher. Let me show you how you are going to write your hand. Déjeme le muestro cómo va a... Dónde va a cliquear para levantar la manito. Sí. No, no. Hold on, hold on. I can show you my screen. <laughs> I don't know why I can show you my screen. Pero lo que quiero es que, que vea donde dice reaction, reacciones. Y ahí le va a dar clic. Y ahí le van a aparecer las diferentes uh, opciones. Ya la encontró. No, no, dicho, no aparece. Ni a no la aparece. izquierda, ni a la derecha. Creo que, se, que aparecen cuando movemos el botoncito del mouse. Como cuando queremos activar el micrófono, ahí aparecen ya. No. No le aparece. Solo aparece desactivar audio, detener video, compartir participantes y más, que es el chat. En más, en más. Ahí, de, más. dele clic en más. Más. Sí. Chat. Ahí en la Configuración, levantar la mano. Ahí está, excelente. Ah, ok, ok, thank you. Ah, Dele clic ahí. Uh -huh. Ahí está, excelente, miren. Okay. Eso. Ok, ok, ok. Thank you. Uh, next question, number four, what did you learn? What did you learn? Somebody wants to answer this question. Ahora le va a dar clic de nuevo eh, Karen para que baje la manito. Ahí mismo donde le dio le va a dar clic para que baje la manito porque le quedó arriba. Ahí está. Number four. Ok, let us uh, continue with the next activity. Cause of the time. Cause of the time. Okay, now you are going to write seven questions about a recent event, event at your workplace using that passes me. Only, only that. Usted va a escribir siete preguntas acerca de eventos recientes en su lugar de trabajo usando el pasado del B. Okay. Let's start now, please, because we are short time. Tenemos ya poco tiempo. Pero uh, at least try to write down five. Only using the passive speed. And show me that you can use it. By the way, I need to check up who is going to be the person that is going to be with me at the end of this class today. I don't know who is it. Maybe you remember. Do you remember who is it? 
¿Se recuerdan quién les dije que le, a quién le corresponde estar hoy? Today is Monday. No. Let me see. Yes. Harrison Manuel Hernández Hernández. I don't know if you, are, if you are going to have time to be here with us. Oh, no, Harrison, I guess that is in, in his job now. Are you in, in your job, Harrison? Yes, teacher, pero, pero sí, creo que sí tengo, tengo tiempo. Ah, ok. Entonces, saque la lista de preguntas y téngala en modo ráfaga. Realmente les admiro a todos porque sé que en estos días salen eh, bastante tarde de sus trabajos y a pesar de eso pues hacen todo su esfuerzo de estar acá con nosotros y, y eso es muy importante, ¿verdad? Así es que todo ese esfuerzo al final tendrá su recompensa. Y todos hemos pasado por eso. Si queremos superarnos, hay que sacrificar mucho. And sometimes even uh, our family. Let me see, I got a question here. Somebody's teacher. ¿Podemos revisar lección 13? Ah, I got it here. Let me see, maybe I'm not going to show you, but let me check up here in my... Let me see what's going on here. I lost the connection with this computer. Let me connect you again. It is number 13, I guess you tell me. Number? Which number? Two. two. Number two? Let me see if I'm right. Instruction, identify the mistake in each sentence and correct it. Is that right? Yes, teacher. Okay, number two. Yes, I am writing a memo right now. Is that? Giovanni Alexander, do you want to say something? Hey, teacher. Do you want to say something? No? Okay. Okay. Uh, in number two, say I am writing a memo right now. Is yes, that? Yes, teacher. Oh, yes. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, the, the same happened like the last time. Aquí está pasando lo mismo que pasó en el ejercicio anterior. No sé si me comprendieron lo que traté de, de decirles. Y las mismas somos pa, con Gani. Es, que es una Aquí. palabra sustituta, algo así, ¿verdad? O algo no me recuerdo. Eh, sí, lo que sucede es. Lo que sucede es que. Uh, hay una palabrita ahí bueno como la instrucción está muy clara y dice que corrija los errores hay una palabra que no la van a usar de esas que está ahí hasta ahí les puedo dar ahorita la idea 
I don't know if you got. Thank you, teacher. Ya no dio una pista, vaya. Yes, Thank I, you. I, I gave you. Cierto, dice que, o sea, que tiene, puede haber algún error, por eso dice que. Ajá. Uh -huh, uh -huh. claro. Okay, teacher. Claro Thank que you. Sí. Okay, who wants to read the, the question? Somebody want to read the question? Cause of the time, cause of the time. Alguien que ya las tenga, que quiera compartirlas. Christy, you? Christy, Ana Cristina o Cristina Stephanie? Cristina Stephanie. <laughs> Uh, I think the answer, teacher, me corrí. <laughs> Who was the training? The training was interesting. When was the training? The training last Thursday. Thursday. Did you like it? Yes, I did. What did you learn? to fix the equipment used on the, on the, and the, use the prevent the manger on it. It was the present help you? Yes, he was because carfield all the, 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 did they use examples? Yes, he did. He did. Only that teacher. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más, por favor? One more, please, before we go. I will. Okay, How was the training? The training was interesting. When was the training? It was last Tuesday. Did you like it? Yes, I did. What did you learn? I learned how to fix the equipment and how to prevent damage from it. Uh, was the presenter was the presenter helpful? Yes. He was. Did he use example? Yes. He he used a computer to um, to present examples during the speech. Okay. Somebody else? One more, please, one more. Only one thing that I want, I would like to emphasize is this. Hold on a second, please. Hello? Eh, yo solamente hice dos. Se las puedo decir. Yes, read it, please. Okay. Yeah. What was your lunch time the month before? Uh, we had 15 more minutes in number two. How were your co-worker the first day? My co-worker, very cute. 
Thank you. Okay, uh, you're welcome. Let me show you something here. You need to be careful. Necesitamos ser bastante cuidadosos en lo siguiente. I'm going to show you this. It, if you can see it, the interaction is this. ¿Cómo dice ahí? See at the beginning, at, at the end, using the pass of B. But it's right. Usando el pasado de pi. Were you in a training last week? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. And so on. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know if you have any questions of Pablo here. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá. Escriban sus preguntas and tomorrow you can read it, okay? Déjeme checar la asistencia. Ok, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ángel. Present. Cristina Stephanie. Present teacher. Eh, Fátima del Carmen. Present. Eh, Giovanni Alexander. Person. Present. Juan Carlos. Karen Yesenia. Present. Eh, Karina. Present. Linda. Present. María Julia. Present. Marlene. Marlene Nicole. Marlene Nicole. Nancy. Present. Eh, Norma. Present. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Suleima. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, I want to ask you this. I got two more uh, slides. Tengo dos presentaciones referentes a este tema. Just let me know if you want that I send you to the WhatsApp group. Pregunto, ¿le gustaría si se los envío para que tengan eh, extra? Y yes, teacher. Hacer yes, un teacher. Repaso? Yes, teacher, please. Okay, okay. And uh, una aclaración así rapidita es que quise explicarle bastante en español esta parte porque algunas veces sé de que quedan dudas con ese verbo, a pesar de ser el más básico, pero siempre hay dudas. Entonces el objetivo principal es que ustedes afianzaran el día de hoy todo eso para que ya en el intermedio Ya todo esté, pero excelente. Sí. Así es que. I hope that everything go. In a, in, a, in a good way. Thank you very much. Good night. And I hope to see you tomorrow. I'm going to good talk night. with Harrison. Good night, good night teacher. And I'm going good to send you the material. Tomorrow. Bye, bye, okay. teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. See you later. Bye, everyone. Good night. Rafael.
Thank you to all of you. Okay, Harrison. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here about the topic that we have studied or maybe what we were talking about today. Just yes, let me know if you have a question. Yes, teacher. Eh, aunque ahora estuve poco, pero sí lo que entendí era que era más que todo sobre el pasado. Sí. Más en, en, the, en the questions, en the answer, en the use de the auxiliary to. Okay. From the past. And let me see. Remember that we, we were talking about be and also using did. Mm -hmm. Usamos, uh, estuvimos hablando del pasado del be, que sería, sería was and where, pero también usamos eh, cómo hacer preguntas usando el did. Dijimos que when we use did, we are going to use the verb in infinitive. That uh -huh. means in present. I don't know if you have any questions or something. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta relacionada a eso que vimos o a algún tema anterior. For example, the, the, the training was very helpful. Yeah. This is infinity with the past. In this case, you are using uh, the simple past of B. Ahí se está usando el pasado, porque dice usted, the training was. Uh -huh. Ahora, vamos a usar el infinitivo cuando usemos did. En otras palabras, cuando usemos did, el verbo principal va a estar en presente. Por ejemplo, dice, did you enjoy the party? El verbo enjoy va a estar en presente. Pero ¿qué le hace saber que está siendo usado en pasado? El auxiliar did. For example, I say, did you, did you call me? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Entonces el verbo call lo estoy usando en, en, en infinitivo, en presente. Pero ¿qué me hace saber que está en pasado? El, el use of did. Did. Okay. Yes. Dice yeah. usted, did you go to the party? ¿Fuiste mm -hmm. a la fiesta? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Y en el bar, we use without is, s, sorry, without s. Yes, you don't need to use s. Okay. In that case, because you are using an auxiliary. Okay. Eh, ya sea en presente o en, o en pasado, ¿no? ya veces utilizamos do, does, and did, le quitamos el, la S, ¿verdad? Ah, pero ya, ya oh, ok, hold on, permítame. Me está, eh, por ejemplo, dice usted si lo va a usar con tercera persona. Algo así es la, 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 algo así es la pregunta. Por ejemplo, si vamos a hablar de ella. Yes. Algo así le comprendí que, que fue su pregunta. Yes, yes. <coughs> sí. Ah. Pero, pero, pero eso es prácticamente ya cuando utilizamos cualquiera de los auxiliares le quitamos la S, ¿verdad? Sí, porque no, no podemos tener, uh, no podemos tener cómo se llama dos, dos cambios. Ok. No, no yeah. podríamos tenerlos. Ok. Tendría que ser, por ejemplo, did she go out last night? En vez de que día sería did she goes. No, no podría ser. Ok. She goes. Let me see. In we use was from uh, I, he, she, it. Yes. We work with, we use when we have, we, the, you. 
Yes, that's fine. All right. Let me see. Okay. Y acá siempre la, las preguntas short answer, siempre eh, yes, ID, y siempre, ¿verdad? Generalmente okay. cuando se usa el pasado del B, que es was o where, a, y a eso se le llama yes, no question. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué? Porque usted la responde diciendo, por ejemplo, le dice, um, let me see, were you busy yesterday? ¿Estuviste ocupado ayer? Entonces viene usted y dice, yes, I. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. O no, I wasn't. Ok. Sí, entonces por eso se usa esa estructura. Y en el caso de did, si por ejemplo fuese did you go to the church, fuiste a la iglesia. Uh -huh. Yes, I did, no, I did. Sí. Ok. I didn't go because I had something to do. Ok, y ahí lo vamos a utilizar para que sea primera o tercera persona o para todos en, en pareja o el did. El did. Sí. Sí, ahí va para todos. Ok. Sí. Perfect. Creo que sí. sí ahí. Ok, excelente. No creo. Sí. Gracias. Okay. Thank you. Feliz noche. Was, was a pleasure to see you. Gracias. Ok. Bye bye. Good night. Yeah.